Yeah, I was supposed to tidy my car now, prepare for my travel tomorrow, but uh, then I saw Lucas and he was headed for Bielanchella, so uh, I decided to join. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so let's see how the conditions is. Yeah, on my way. Just passed Lucas' car. Got a message from him. I'm waiting in the forest. Hmm. <laughs> It's a bit intriguing. <laughs> yeah, brake spot number two. And uh, some clouds over there. But <laughs> but Lucas. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's all blue sky. All blue sky. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the sunshine, but we'll give it a go. It's really thermal. And in the, in the distance you can see the Cumulus Nimbus building. And ev even though it's fully clouded, it's really thermic. It's in conditions like this you have to be, be really aware of what's happening. Because if the clouds disappear and the sun starts to shine when you have this low air pressure and such an unstable air, then the conditions can explode really fast. The towering clouds are getting closer, and I decide to head for landing. It's better to be on the ground before the sun starts to heat up everything. You have full explosion here. See a Nimbus in the distance, so I decide to give uh, Lucas a call and just give him a heads up. Are you just taking a break and then take off again, huh? Yeah, just be careful. Uh, you see those big ones out towards Stavanger. So, uh, so, all right, I have to do grown-up stuff. So. <laughs> all right, but uh, thanks, thanks for the flight. <laughs> yeah, bye.